Welcome back to another episode of Enshrouded. So in today's episode, we're going to reach the capital, Pikemead Reach. So I'm not sure if it's the capital of like this entire map or just the capital region of this area. But there's quite a few quests that we got going around. Fire three fire shrines, two fire shrines, a sanctum, and possibly another boss will hit up. Oh, and the farmer thing as well. I did forage all of the uh, adventure armor in the last episode. If people didn't stick around to watch that. And also a medium backpack. So yeah, so I got this, uh, got the adventure set. These are its stats. So extra health regen, and then the medium backpack is a 16 slots. I'm not sure I get the large backpack yet. I uh, built a couple more uh, kilns since I'm gonna be beating a lot more charcoal if I wanna make a bunch of copper stuff. I did change the longbow and I made myself 100 copper arrows. So we'll see how well this works. Just for the initial attack, I'll still probably be going in heavy melee. Right now, if that's out of the way, let's get our moving on to our objective. Here's this is gonna be a flying boss, so I might need those arrows. The entire valley is shrouded too. some uh, berries for health regeneration. And we might as well use that, even though it doesn't help us when you're not in the shroud, but we might be able to get out of it. We got 500 meters and it's all shroud land through here. We'll come across an elixir well by the looks of it. The thing about taking down elixir wells is they give you a skill point, if you guys haven't noticed yet. Also, my roads still only give me a uh, 90% stamina usage reduction. <laughs> Damn it. I didn't even see the red stuff down there. <sighs> that was very unfortunate. I want to get like five minutes from this, but having 
any rested bonus is better than having no rested bonus. I got six minutes to rest the bones out of that. Alright, let's try not to fall into the red sea of death. I've been up here. No, I have not. Two sparks from that one. I'd say I know I can double jump game. Once I get this, I'll be able to upgrade my, uh... My, uh, lane some more so we can go into higher end areas. XP. Uh, it didn't tell me. Is that like some or none? Okay, Elixir Well's up there. I get up there without, you know, falling into the death pool. of the damage I take is returned back to the I forgot about that. Oh, my sword dead. 
was like, oh yeah, what killed him? Is this where the map says it is? Yeah, it looks like well supposed to be right here. Oh, it's down. Uh, must be underneath. Nope. Yeah, it's underneath here. Ow, fall damage hurts a lot. I'd say a four for that minor perk. Ah, let's get more melee damage, actually. That's all twos. Fight since it rewards a trophy. The only time I've ever seen trophies rewarded were during <laughs> boss fights. Oh, you're new. Two of you guys? Stronger gear before I come down here for this. 
Oh yeah, that hurt. Let's go. down for fighting one of you guys. The arsonist bow. killed himself. Whew. Got an air wolf maw. Not the white wolf sword. The wolf maw is a blue. I also got the arsonist bow. Here it is. Piercing damage, increased backstab, increased critical chance. Uh, leech for stamina. That's a new one. Short bow. Not expecting to fight two of them. I cleared the shroud from this part. Oh, I got a hole all the way up there. Interesting. All those plants died since I cleared the shroud. <laughs> no, I don't want to break my sword. No, they did not. We cleared the shroud from this place at least. I just had to cheese one of the big guys. <laughs> yeah, since I'm gonna be doing a bunch of stuff, I'll make sure to have timestamps in these videos for when everything is getting done. I need to go back to my older videos and put timestamps in those ones too. I've been kind of slacking on that. Kind of been on a time crunch trying to get this game done before the 20th of uh, when I'm recording this. So I got nine more days to try to complete this. And I'm probably going to move on to uh, Nightingale when that comes out on the 20th. And that's been something I've been looking forward to as well. Shroud's done, now we need to just head back over that way. Really hope there's a forge over there. <laughs> right, I have my other sword, but still. of 
above. Yeah, I've entered the radius. You know, too bad I can't see anything because of the shroud. Oh yeah, these uh these blue plants right here are the ones that give you shroud sacks. Reach. Should the castle or the castle? Kettle's here. You get up there though. a giant castle. Or dare, Claudia, I dare you to join me for a little mischief. We're meeting a skimmer cove tonight with Rune and Ricky. June wants to steal her father's lantern so we can travel there at nightfall. I know how to get past the guards since last summer, so no worries. Ricky says he's gonna yell real loud to rock the cove and lure out the lizard creatures. I think he won't dare, though. He's a chicken. Crawl out of your window at midnight if you dare to join. I left some lanterns out for you. We got snacks too. Or tell Ricky you like him. You won't because you're a chicken as well. Yeah, they're dead. <laughs> okay. Maybe that situation, yep. This place is heavily shrouded. This will move to the entrance. Well, the kettle's. Oh, we got a checkpoint right here. The kettle's right up there. Really, I hope. Really hope I'm running. I run across a like a forge here pretty soon. Oh, hello, sir. <gasps> Have a checkpoint there. Ow. Yeah, we're, we're one of the small fries. But my sword's probably definitely gonna break before I can kill this guy.
Bastards up there. Oh, it's health and regen. Sorry I cheesed you a little. It's your fault though. Where the shroud damage would be strong against shroud, or is it just the slashing damage? have taken the square. The foot soldiers must be marching to the harbor and encroaching on the gate, no doubt. I'm blessed to have made it to my hidden attic on time. I can't see from here, but I hear them. Their lord, the guard of the north, is chanting something dark and tainted. The sky outside moves. No, it's the clouds. A misty veil with strips of colored blue light. What on earth? I'm peeking now. I see it. The cobblestone rip upon like foul flesh. He's removing his gloves by the ancients, his hands. They look frozen and dead like preserved rye meat. Is he raising something from below? I can't see. I have to lean a little further. Guard of the North gloves. Those look interesting. I lose time in the shroud, but I get like plus four damage all types. Okay, so we got rid of that shroud. Time to go further into the city. Well, that actually cleared up all 90% of the stuff. Thank you. I really need to find a blacksmith thing. Good folk, heed this warning. Skimmer Cove crumbles and roars. King Gormander, Imperial Guard a suspect an impeding collapse. Refrain from visiting the cove or venture forth at your own risk. Search and rescue operations cannot be performed until the warp subsides. Furthermore, stay clear of the coast at night. Reports confirm strange vibrations in the water as well as moving lights. However, King Gormander wants to reassure you personally that sites of an aquatic beast remain unfounded. Vikings reach as safe and can be s as can be. Glory rise from the depths once more. Dearest people, hear my tale. It is true. They've returned. I've seen the wisps from my own eyes down by white wind shores, brighter than ever before. They've returned to bring glorious light from the depths, hailing from the cove. Do not fret. They are our reptilian brothers? Glistening scaly backs peek out from beneath the waters, ready to carry you to safer shores. Good fortune must be upon us. Our war will end. The craze from the elixir will will subside. The water and rain will clear and the soil stop to sour. Good omens are all around. Stupid bug! Veiled in holy light, nothing is sacred. Three arrows inside Casper's ribs, and Marcus' spine is surely splintered. We carried him to safety. Fire rained down on us. We've sundered to Commander 
Cyrus at nightfall when the fell crept in. Alas, we are blessed beyond all. While veiled in holy light, the fell won't come nearer. Perhaps our refuge is a result of Emily Frey's blessing. I pray the southern caravan route is less perilous than ours. I must set down the pen. Casper cries, he needs soothing. Raoul. Alright, we got our pot. Our kettle. Got sparks. Picked up a campfire. Didn't realize that was a campfire. Why does this look like an elixir potion? That's a glass of a fell. I have like no health potions for the boss fight. What else we got here besides? There's another flame shrine over there. We got the flame sink though. objective right now. So nice. I don't have to struggle bust my resources as much. Ancients help us. They broke through. Soldiers of the Northern Guard, they ravaged it all. The brittle walls were torn apart. The gate was lowered. They locked us out. We cannot run. Rats in a cage. Their first clash against the iron. I lowered my hands, fold my palms, and pray. Dear Ancients, please anyone, open the gates. Okay, I've 
already went through the basement. Am I supposed to date my way through here, maybe? I don't think they would force you to dig your way through. It's all red. Maybe I do have to dig my way through. Yeah, maybe that is why the bottom's guarded so heavily right there. I probably have to dig my way through. to do. Stop! That's the problem with auto climbing. Nailed it. Well, that's a lot of writing. The Pike Weekly, nothing grand about uh, Gormander. King Gormander's latest addition to Pikeman's Reach is, in my opinion, a disgrace in the pathetic attempt of a man whose timber teeth to reach his mother's levels of adoration. It's a narrative more shallow than White Wind's Water. Last summer, our lord attempted to rename the Imperial Gardens to Gormander's Gardens was foiled by civil unrest. Instead, we've since been blessed with a statue of his likeness. The statue's gaze is so stiff and paralyzed as our ruler's disposition to the brewing troubles in the north. The grandest thing about Gormander next to his treasury is his wooden overbite. Ramon Jones, editor of the Pike Weekly. That was weird. Gormorn watches over us. King Gormander, son of Glorious Pikemead, grand patron of the Riverwood and Springlands, watch over all. His vigilant gaze unites us as one, shields us from calamity, and ushers us into new age of prosperity. Huh. Uh, we're, yeah, we're trying to get in the, or the quest here, apparently. break the statue. Ooh, I'll get that shortcut that's over here, though. I uh, was another way into this place. Oh, god damn it. So he's guarding them. I really hope you can do something with those stupid heads. 
I have so many of them now. Yeah, but I guess this was another way to get into here. Shattered Legacy, Gothamore's Imperial Gardens. I guess I still don't get the point in the Imperial Gardens. Let's click to our journal real quick. Another treasure is rumored to have been buried somewhere in the Imperial Gardens. Probably means where you find it. Oh, it's just a treasure. There's just like a traditional rubble pile somewhere. There's a treasure buried somewhere nearby. I don't really want to use my copper one. Oh, I found a treasure in like two seconds. It had a hatchet. What a pointless discovery. Woot woot. find a blacksmith thing around here. Uh, scattered legacy. Okay, this game needs to start doing that. If you get attacked, needs to kick you out of all the menus. So many quests. Scrap 65 copper. All my weapons are almost broken. I see any blacksmith things over here, which is very annoying. Usually there's like one every now and then. <laughs> this game really does need repair powder. Some kind of consumable to repair your weapons, since you can't build a workbench just anywhere in the world, it has to be at a fire station. I don't think you can just build them. I need more wood to even try that. Where are the copper arrows though, friends? That helps out. <laughs> Get a lot of poison ones too. Oh! I was falling into the combat arena. I can shoot through objects. Wonderful. God damn it. <sighs> OK, 
Okay, so this is the boss arena. Okay. I didn't realize that was the boss arena. I thought I was in the tower. And it's not a flying enemy, so there's that as well. I need to find a way to repair my stuff, though. How much did I lose? Did I lose... Okay, I lost the stone I was carrying to create a flame altar. There's got to be a repair station somewhere around here. So I had to use all my best stuff to even just get up here. Huh. You'd figure if they were smart, they would just put one like right outside the boss fight. Huh. They weren't smart about that. It's a bit annoying. Archer helmet. somewhere in this city. It gave me a lot of poison arrows, but it seemed it was ineffective against this guy. Even the little places had him. So it's very annoying that these big places doesn't have. The capital of all places that was under siege doesn't have a repair station built into it. I'm just gonna have to build a foundation outside. Did you kind of open this gate from this side? Yes, I can. Okay, I don't have to worry about that anymore for when I come back through here. Graveyard filled with skeletons. What did that say? Those are arrows I can take. Okay.
I figure that you'd be weak to poison since, you know, you're giving me a ton of copper poison arrows, but I guess not. Yeah, I just gotta mine some stone, I guess. Use one of my base altars up here. Bones. His swissed mind hides a secret. The smell of scent of decay inside the manor, the walls, the body, a rod and ruin, a festering circle. Somewhere I feel it. His bones. It's in his bones, inside the walls, a riddle, a maze, locked behind his tired eyes. I will dig tirelessly. I know it's in there somewhere. I just led back down there. That was my stupid fault. Ugh. I go, I guess, into the sh I don't know if I can even build in the shroud.
sorry this is taking so long, guys. I'm just trying to figure out how to do this. Get my stuff. Uh, what do I need for my water? For my health potions. for this fight. Water. Let's go get some water real quick. I guess we got the cooking pie. What a nice surprise! Praise the ancients, you got my kettle. House Raul. Oh, their time ran out as mine stood still. So we really are the last. How cold. Let's light a fire in their honor. Craft a fireplace with the kettle to warm us up. Less Crap, did I keep the kettle in my inventory when I Yes I did, surprisingly. That is something I just craft on hand. Stone, scrap metal, and flintstone. I don't think I have flintstone actually. That's done. We'll switch that weapon back. on me and I know I can get it easily but this video is going on pretty long right now. I really just want to beat that boss. So let's get over there and uh, try to kick that boss's butt.
Let's go. Give me another go. Don't you know his gimmick? He's easy to kill. Commander's rank plus 30 mod plus 30 health. Damn. I got his trophy. That rank's pretty good. I'll use 
lines. Point coming in here is only like four pieces for any of that stuff. And it's not like I can go higher. As high as it goes. I guess let's head back to home base. It seems it was just this uh, boss fight that we did. Yeah, what? What'd you? Once I understood that you just had to wait for his mouth to open up and you were golden, he was he's not even that dumb of a fight. Should have thought dodging. Alright, we we're done with the stuff here. I can always just come back here later and do some of these side quests. That was like the last mean quest too. The rest is all just side stuff, I feel like. But let's go back see what everyone else has to say back at uh, home base. Maybe they'll give us more clues to follow. Yeah, this video is going on pretty pretty longer. I'll make sure to have timestamps in here for all the stuff I've done. So it took me an hour just to get to that boss, basically. That carpenter has something to say. Let's make some. Want to hear a joke? Carpenter without masonry tools. That's it. That's the joke. I'm a farce, a poser. I need proper tools, but the blacksmith won't lend me his. Go figure. I know where to get some masonry tools, though. Does the research site at Pillar of Creation ring a bell? Cool, get him. Uh, unlocked recipes. Okay. Anyone else got something to say? Keep it brief. Strange letter. Flameborn, some time ago a curious thing happened. I received a note. Take a look from R Regan. Courtesy of the Conways. I've never met a R Regan, but I know the Conways. Couriers from the east. They must have traveled through the trade outpost, blazing rock to deliver the message. Can you investigate? You got a hot sure. <laughs> How's our ear shooting in? Nope, that's our, you ain't got nothing to say. Got a lot of stuff to deposit actually going through all that. Uh, that's basically it for what I'm gonna be doing for this video since it took quite a while for us to do all this stuff. Uh, I'll probably go mine some cobblestone real quick since it's basically directly to my left right here. And then I'll have to farm up some additional resources. Put a bunch of their heads in there. Because I'm sure Strength and Flame will get that up to level 4. Maybe level four might be the max, maybe not. I still don't know where to get to get amber, so I'm gonna have to figure that out. So that would be my main objective, is trying to figure out how to get amber. And then collecting all the other resources. But like I said, I'm gonna just gonna go over here to this spot, get some cobblestone to be able to craft here in a little bit. Uh, head on over there real quick. The other already gone long, so might as well just let it go. And like I've said multiple times before, I'll have timestamps uh, down below for everything in the description.
there's a corn stalk back here? <laughs> Weird. After this next episode is probably gonna be a bunch of side quests so I can figure out like a huge quest line, kind of like that castle we just went through was about. Uh, would that give me 15? I think I need 20. Then I'll have to figure out where I get the amber from. I'm sure it's just some mining material, or maybe just chop down the big tree that gives me amber. The other ones give me resin. I'm sitting at 22 points down right there. <laughs> okay, so. Maybe this will help me cook things faster too. And my two metal scraps and then I can build this thing. <laughs> Fireplace, there we go. Take it easy. about that. Nope. Uh, what can we craft here? Okay, so it will cook stuff for us. That's a huge relief. Then I don't have to sit by this campfire and cook it all manually. It took longer than I thought it would, though, sadly. I figured that'd be something that would just come up right away. That'll be it for this video and our next episode. Until I find something major to do, it'll just be a bunch of side quest clearing. So we have base, well we gotta find the masonry tools and the blacksmith's request. Oh my god, the blacksmith's request has a lot of stuff. We, our next episode might just be the blacksmith's request, honestly. Judging by all that. Because these things can always just wait, I'm not looking for magic or anything like that but yeah next episode's plan blacksmith's uh request since that looks like it'll be a long quest hopefully it'll be long and it's not just gonna cheat me in like click 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 all right we got it but anyway again that'll be it for this one i hope you guys enjoyed it we fought a brand new boss he had a gimmick it just i was not paying attention enough to notice the gimmick but shoot him in the mouth when he does charge, just run around while he's not doing that. And you're set, easy boss fight. But, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Please leave a like and subscribe. And until next time, later everybody.